Hi artists, I hope everyone is having a good day. I'm coming to you from Blakewood Elementary School. Some of you might recognize the classroom. I'm here packing up, getting ready for next year, but I'm also going to be showing you how to make a paper sandal. So to start, we're gonna need a paper and a pencil. So I want everybody to make a plan first. So when you're making your plan, I started by tracing the shape of my foot. I went ahead, I put my foot right on top of the paper, traced around it lightly with a pencil. And then I thought about the must-haves. So what you must have on your shoe is the sole, the bottom part that fits your foot, some straps that go across the top of your foot, and then a strap that goes around your ankle or your heel to keep your sandal on. Then you're going to pick a theme. It can be whatever you would like. I picked my favorite animal, which is a dog, and thought about some different designs that go around with that theme. You could do a sport, an activity that you enjoy. Maybe you want to just do a summer sandal. It's up to you. But then you're just going to do a simple sketch, a plan of what's going to be on your straps, what's going to be on your sole, what's going to be on this part that goes around your heel. Once your plan is done, you're going to find some cardboard and once again, trace your foot with a pencil. So I already traced mine. I chose some cardboard that's a little thicker. I can't bend it, but it's thin enough that I can cut through. So I'm going to go ahead, cut out that shape of my foot. I'm going to leave a little extra space. So I'm not cutting right on that line. So I don't want it to be the exact size of my foot when I put my sandal on. I want it to be a little bit bigger. If you have a lot of extra cardboard, it's easiest to get around the curves by cutting off your extra pieces. You can try coming at it from another side. All right. So right now I have the sole, the base of my shoe. Next, I'm going to add the straps. And I'm thinking about how this shoe can be wearable. So it needs to be able to function like a real shoe. So instead of just doing a thin piece of paper over the top, we're going to start by adding a base with some newspaper. So to make your straps, we're going to take one sheet of newspaper and we're just going to fold and crease to get a nice thick rectangle shape. We want it to be cushy so it feels good on our feet when we wear it. If you have extra and it's getting a little too thick, you can just cut that off. I have a nice rectangle shape. This is going to bend over the top of my shoe so that it fits over the top of my foot. So you might need to get your foot out for this. You're going to measure and you're going to have a little bit of extra on the sides there that we can connect to the bottom of our sandal. So I have this nice hill shape. It goes over the top. And to connect it, we're going to use a stapler. If you don't have a stapler at home, you can use liquid glue, but remember there will have to be some time to dry before you add other parts of your shoe. Okay, before you move on to the next strap, you can always slide your foot in here, measure it, make sure it's not too loose. And then I'm going to grab some more newspaper. Let's see, let's get one sheet again. Same thing, making a nice thick rectangle to go over the top of my foot. Okay, this one's going to go right behind the first one. You might need to measure with your foot. 
fold those ends in and we're gonna staple it I'd have to recrease some of your newspaper here. You should have two straps over the base of your sandal. Next, we're gonna add this part that goes around your heel with newspaper one last time. This time I'm gonna fold on the longer side of the paper so I have more space to wrap around the back. I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner, really creasing it so it stays in place. This is going to staple right on the edge of that second strap there. It should go a little bit past the edge of your heel so that you can slip your foot in there. But right now I have my sandal shape. <laughs> if it falls apart, just add another staple. Once you have your form done and you make sure that it fits on your foot, then you're going to look back at the sketch, the plan that you made and think about adding the details that fit your theme. So mine was a dog. I thought about adding that mouth on the first strap, some paws across the second strap, and then the back is a collar. So to add my design, I used some blank computer paper. I cut some rectangles so they fit the size of my straps I already have made. I colored on them when they were flat. And then once I was done, I added them over the top to cover up that print of the newspaper. You could staple this on by simply putting a couple staples like you did before, or you could glue it on the top of your newspaper to look a little bit cleaner, a little bit more finished. If you wanna add a toe piece like I did with my tongue here, if you have pipe cleaners at home, that would be the easiest material. I simply cut a small piece of pipe cleaner, poked it through my cardboard so it stayed in like that, and then I stapled it right underneath my first strap there so that it stayed right between my big toe and my second toe. I'm very excited to see all of your crazy, wacky sandal designs. Make sure you take pictures and send a lot of them to your art teachers so they can see what you're making. Have a good day, bye.